our cameraman, Kevin Gieske, is going on a crossbow hunt in the Wendland Ranch. Man, I love crossbow hunting. Up close hunting, that makes it exciting, and, and uh, I, I, just, I just love it. What we're looking for is just a good, mature deer. I was happy just to get in the stand and be able to hunt with a crossbow. And uh, whatever deer came out that was of the right uh, age and uh, the right size, I'm in. We set up in ground blind, uh, overlooked a little flat area that dropped off into a creek bottom. And uh, you know we had deer all over us from the get go. You know, lo and behold, the deer we were looking for, he showed up. The problem was he never gave us a shot. He stayed off on our right side and we had Rusty, the camera set up on the right side. Rusty couldn't see him. The deer still came over a couple times uh, where Rusty could get shots of him, but never gave me a good steady broadside shot. Had a pretty cool set this morning. Um, the deer we want to shoot came in, came in early, came in before the sun came up. Um, it was out in front of us, but never gave us a good shot. Saw lots of deer, saw a couple of nice big 10 points. Yeah, not quite old enough to shoot. It just didn't quite work out, but I mean, we had a good time, man. What a fun, beautiful work. We're gonna, spot. we're gonna change our setup. It was a little more shooting light, so this afternoon maybe we can get another another shot at it. In the afternoon, this place ought to be. The sun's dead into us this morning, and it's it's still gonna work. The afternoons will be behind us. We're gonna be really dark in here. Wind ought to be good if there's any wind really at all. And it ought to be a good setup. If he comes back, we'll have a great chance at him. So. Cool. So we're gonna slip out. We're lit up now. We're gonna slip out. The deer are gone, so it's time for us to get out. We don't spook anything. Evening hunt comes and we know that uh, this is where we're going. We're going back to that same stand. And uh, this time I switched cameras. Jeff's hunting with us now. And what we did, we got in early enough that we could open that stand up to where the camera could see where that deer wanted to be. He wanted to be on our right side, so we set up to go to that right side. So if he did give us that opportunity, we were ready to take it. That deer comes in and uh, my heart rate goes from normal to a thousand. As a matter of fact, um, I've kind of gotten into where I wear the Garmin heart rate monitor because everybody kind of makes fun of me. I, ha I get, uh, I'm the poster child for buck fever. Whether I'm hunting with a camera or whether I'm hunting with a, with a crossbow, bow or rifle, it does not matter. Uh, I get all kinds of nervous when that deer comes out and I, it gets close to that time. What do you think, Scott? I, I, I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell? They move so fast. So, the deer we wanted to get and his buddy. Yeah, yeah first, same ones from this morning. First two deer in this evening. Yeah. Our guy was in back. And I kept waiting for a broadside shot and wanted his foot, wanted his, his leg towards me to go forward, and he finally gave it to us. But right before all that happens, we had two foxes come in. I mean, I, I was afraid they were gonna just spook the deer by the suddenness of their appearance, and and they they didn't. The, the deer saw him, and he, he just wasn't even concerned, really. I mean, he was just kind of curious, but that was kind of cool. Yeah, the one was beautiful. And it, he he kind of blew them off and went back. And I yeah. said, well, heck, there's my shot right there. His legs forward, his head, was everything perfect. was ready. It was perfect. Kind of right right in that little slot right there through that little hole. And that was a, uh, I mean, it it sounded good. I just couldn't. It, everything happened so fast. I just couldn't tell, but that was it. <laughs> man, that was, that was, well, I mean, that, that deer just wanted to stay. He never would. He kind of like stayed down that meadow just like this morning. It, it's just like that's his place. And, and well, we it, set up for him this afternoon. We ain't changed our angle to and we go did. over there. I mean, so the, the, this morning, we just, we weren't set up to be able to shoot that, that side. And this afternoon, we changed everything. We had time and, you know, we weren't fighting it, so. We got in there and got it got it right, and that's where you shot. I mean, that just you got to pay attention to those things when you're hunting because, I mean, just little tiny things like that make all the difference on getting a getting the right shot. I mean, and you took the shot when it was right. That was that was important. I still feel like I'm at a, 
a little back or a little bit to the right, but I still think I, you know he was open enough. I yeah, think. Yeah. You know, I was shooting kind of towards the other shoulder. Two things up. Two things right here. Is here's a Garmin temperature gauge, right? A little temperature deal. But also right here, I have I'm noted for getting extremely nervous, so I have a heart rate monitor on. <laughs> so that'll be on the verb. Y'all can make fun of me later. Well, he was out there enough. I settled down a little you, bit. You did. You did. You. I mean, you were breathing hard, and we all were. But, uh, but you had some time to settle down. That's that's important <gasps> too. I mean, man, when you're at the peak of your nervousness, it's hard to make a good shot. Yeah, so. yeah, I felt uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're so set up right here. Yeah. You're, you're, you got a good chair. You're comfortable. Good rest. Everything was right. And, you know, you just you just you waited for the right opportunity, and it, and it came. And that's and there, there were tons of deer around, and it was. You know, it just kind of worked. It was strange when he ran off the way he, he did a little flip uh, move where he he, he, he went cut, left he and cut it back. Yeah. Just, just he wanted to go back the way he came, and uh, he you know that arrow may have just I, I couldn't tell it passed through or if it, I, 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 I can't just believe it did as fast as that thing is. Yeah. Uh, but God, I love this. Yeah, I that's, love that. That's fun. That was fun. That, <laughs> that really was. I was excited. We played it back in the camera, and, and we we're pretty convinced that, yeah, he was good. We we're going to give him some time, but, uh, you know, confidence is high. All that being said, I still get nervous until I actually get to see that deer on the ground. One of the coolest things that I had on this hunt was the new Garmin inReach. Um, and, and what that is, is a, uh, it's a satellite communicator. Uh, basically, uh, it's using uh, satellite technology that you are uh, able to send and receive text like you do with your regular cell phone. So it's 100% worldwide coverage. And you're able to, if you get into trouble, you're able to get a text out for help. Um, or in this case, uh, I let Wade know that we had the deer down, no need to come out and, and, and help us. Uh, and that's part of one of the cool things about a Garmin inReach. Learn more about the Garmin inReach at Garmin.com. We've got a good sign on the ground, and uh, we're looking around, and we go maybe 30, 40 yards, and Scott looks up. Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> Holy shit, he's, ball he's balled up in a tree. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful nine chocolate horns. What a great deer. Yeah, they didn't have brow time on that side. That's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, kind of odd. Brow but, uh, but, God, what a pretty deer. Hey, congratulations, Kevin, on your crossbow entry into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Now, Kevin was hunting with a 10-point Phantom RCX, and now 10-point has come out with the Stealth and Shadow NXT crossbows. These crossbows are equipped with vector quad cables, producing speeds up to 410 feet per second while maintaining strength and stability. Check out all these crossbows at 10pointcrossbows.com.